This weekend, you can see part of Oregon's history all from the safety and comfort of your car. Joe V is live in Brooks. He's here to tell us more about a special event at Powerland Heritage Park. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Kim. Yes, it will take place uh, starting this weekend, actually next, next weekend as well, rolling through steam up right here at uh, the Powerland Heritage Park. If you're not familiar, uh, Powerland is a collection of 15 different museums. Behind me, you can see they've got all sorts of tractors, vintage machinery vehicles, you name it. And steam up has always been their annual event where you can walk around and see things up close and, you know, they're moving around, obviously, with... Uh, COVID and what's going on with the various regulations, they can't do that this year. So the idea is they've set up a mile loop. You drive past all the different museums. You learn about stuff. You see things in motion. And you may find people like Vicki Cunningham. Vicki, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Joe. How are you? Great. Thank you for joining us today. So you are here with the Brooks Historical Society. And this is one of the 15 museums you have on site. This is the Brooks Depot Museum. And you were telling me this building, it's not just a museum, it really is a historical artifact, the building itself. Yes, it is. Um, it was built in about 1888 along the old Southern Pacific Line in Brooks, which is about a mile away down uh, Brook Lake Road. And um, it served our community for many years. So this was the actual like train depot? This was the train depot. And they're built according to a standard pattern, and this was one of the standard Southern Pacific patterns. So they actually moved it here so you can kind of see it. Now you can actually, during normal times, go inside. Obviously right now we're just focusing on what's outside here, but you set up a little display here because these are the kind of things that would have been, I guess, shipped in and out of Brooks, like what we're looking at right here, right? Right. We're in French Prairie, and it was well known for grain and for, um, and for um, grass crops, mm -hmm. so that represents that. Onions down there are from, um, represent the Lake Labiche onions. They were very, very um, popular and a great economic event. It, then further to the left, yeah. there's some hop vines, and hops are part of our uh, heritage from uh, long ago. Fruit and vegetables, and uh, representing over there in those crates is some celery that uh, I had to make that up, but that's celery from the uh, Lake Labiche. You know, and it's, it's really interesting just looking at this, 1888 to 1963, uh, that's when this, uh, this uh, depot was in service. What happened then? Why not, so, not such a big deal? They built a freeway, and so that all of a sudden you could use trucks. You didn't. You yeah, didn't. trucks were a bigger yeah. thing. So the transportation is another um, thing that we talk about in our museum, and you can see the history of transportation in the area. Well, Vicki, thank you very much. I've learned a lot in just a short period of time. Uh, it all take place this weekend, next, and then another weekend in August. Again, uh, rolling through Powerland. We'll have more info at kptv.com. Last thing, I want to show this to you real quick. Vicki brought this out. Do you have any idea, Kim, what these would be right here? What this is? These no, two cans? I don't. This, this was a kid's toy back in like the late 19th, early 20th century. They were called tin can stilts. So before kids had TikTok to mess around on, this <laughs> is what they did for fun. I can't imagine and, and it's I that easy. It. And I, I, bro I broke a priceless <laughs> artifact. Great. Apparently. Great, Joe. That, Good that, job. Just put it on our bill, okay? Oh, oh, That's a deal. My bad. Oh, hey, lots more to come from Powerland a little bit later in the show. Oh, Send it back to the studio. TV. All right. Joe, thanks. <laughs>